guys and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect and today we're going to be going over the mod Just Enough Items, also more commonly referred to as JEI. Now be sure to give the mod dev Mez some love and let's get on with today's video. So what is JEI exactly? Well, JEI is for viewing recipes that are related to the items in game. So the items that you have in game all have a recipe. Normally you would have to look up these recipes potentially on a wiki, but thankfully this mod has a solution for that particular problem. We can now search the recipes in game. How cool is that? So when we open our inventory, we can see right here, we have a simple egg. Within this egg, we wanna see what it is used for. If we hover over this item and we hit U on our keyboard, we can thus see what items are needed to craft other recipes that utilize the egg. So this is just a great way of showing this. Opposite to this, if we hover over an item such as these wood stairs and hit R on our keyboard, we can thus see what it takes to craft that particular item. And if we wanted to save this item, say we wanted to store this for easy access later, so we don't have to search through this list of items, we can hover over the item, whether we do it here or out here, and we can hit the button A, and that's gonna store it to what is called a bookmark tab, and uh, we can show and remove our bookmarks. So this is a really, really helpful. So this is one of my favorite features of JEI, is the fact that you can go into your crafting table, and I know we have our crafting recipe book here, but but uh, before that was established, we would have to craft it by hand, but not with JEI. We can click on the item we want to craft, and there is a button here that says move items. If we just click this, it's only gonna move enough to make one of the items, which of course there's four of them, but still one. If you want to craft all of them and pull all the items you have available in your inventory over here, hold down shift and click, and then you can craft out all of the items that you can craft with the available blocks that you have. So beautiful, beautiful tool here and still one of my favorites uh, by far. That's one of my favorite features. You can hit Control and O to completely remove JEI from your scre screen. If you only want this as it is, if you just wanna play Minecraft normally, you're still gonna have your tab here and your tab over here. But as far as messing with your actual display, you're, you're not gonna have any problems because some mods, it might get in the way of the mods that you're working with. So a good way to do that is again, control O on your keyboard together, and that will toggle it on and off. Another useful thing is if you are in creative mode or you're in cheat mode, you can hold down control and left click on JEI. That will allow you to enter cheat mode. Cheat mode's a little bit more advanced um, as you can pull one item out by left clicking on an item. You can pull these items directly from here. Also, if you left click and pick up an item, you can left click it to delete it as well by dragging it back over here and clicking it in. Now, if you want a full stack, you can right click and hold shift or left click and hold shift. Either one of those is going to give you an entire stack. And then you can thus toggle if you want it to be something that puts it in your hand, your, on your pointer or not. Um, so these are going to be more of the advanced settings. So let's go ahead and dive in to the more advanced stuff. When it comes to your cheat menu over here, or I would call it your config for JEI, we can of course toggle this off and on with holding down control and left click, but we can also click this button and access that same feature right here. So if you do not want to use the shortcut, you can click it and toggle it on like so. But for this case, we don't need it on. If you don't like your search bar being on the right hand side, we can of course move it and put it into the center. So now your search bar is right in the center. Some people prefer it here. So we can also toggle that off. Now, how I mentioned with you picking up a stack, if you don't want it to go onto your pointer and you want it to go directly into your inventory, you can of course uh, change the mode to give mode to inventory. You can see you can toggle those things. So now when we enter cheat mode and if I left click, it gives me an entire stack. If I right click, it will give me a single item. So this could be very helpful, especially if you're building a map or you want to use this, which is just great for doing stuff like that. As far as search option goes, this is where some things can be very useful. For example, you can turn on color because by default it's disabled. You can turn on the creative tab. You can turn on or dictionary mode and using these tags here, these selectors, we can thus search very specific things inside of JEI. I haven't really gotten into searching. That's gonna be more of an advanced thing. So let's move on to how we search through JEI. So if we want to search in JEI, there are some specific ways we can do this. Now, at the moment, we only have just JEI installed. If we had other mods installed, we could go and type at and then the mod name. So if it was Batania, for example, we could type at Batania and thus the list of all the Batania items would show up because you're defining the mod itself. So if we want to just search a particular color that's in Minecraft, 
we can use this mark and then type in yellow. And as you can see, it's going to give us all of the items that are yellow. This is great for building if you're looking for a very specific color. So black, for example, is going to give you all the items that have black in them. Uh, so you have some pretty specific things that you can search. Pretty much the Minecraft colors. Um, cyan, for example, some cyan looking items, blue and of course, like light blue. And as you can see, the items are going to show up. This is a really helpful feature, but it's not the only one. So if we want to search a particular creative mode tab, we can use the percent sign and we can type in, for example, tools as one. So we can search tools and this is going to show us all the available tools that would normally be in our creative menu. Um, so there are some particular uses that you could have this for. I mean, if this is something you're interested in, of course you can do that. Another one that we can do is search by or dictionary name, which is by using this key, which is your money symbol. Uh, and this one's a little bit more advanced. Think of War Dictionary as we have a log here and we have several different types of log. So the or dictionary would take all of those types of logs and combine them into one tag, which would be wood. So we could search wood, for example, and it's going to give us all of the types that are or dictionary as wood, which is very helpful as well. If you ever need to search more than one item, another way you can do this is with the vertical bar. So if we search redstone and I wanna search another item, say that is obsidian, bam, we have obsidian. So we have redstone now searched and we've also included obsidian. Um, and of course you can always shorthand, you don't have to type out the full word. So red also will eventually show us redstone. So if you want to shorthand things, you can, of course, shorthand things. This is going to show us everything that's not only red, uh, because I think you can search yellow and still without our little symbol, uh, it'll still show the, the yellow item. So that's just a, a helpful tip for navigating JEI. As like I said, this is probably one of the most useful tools while playing modded Minecraft. Well, let's get into some really advanced stuff. This is going to be the advanced stuff that is going to be for the pack developers out there because JEI is also amazing for pack developers. Say we want to hide an item. We can go into the JEI config and go into hide ingredients mode. This is going to put us into a new mode where we can click on an item such as these items. Say I want to remove all the stone variants like so. I can just click and remove them. Now, whenever I click and I turn this mode off back to false, as you can see, all of the stone is now gone from JEI. It didn't remove the crafting recipe as you can still access the crafting recipe, but it did remove it from JEI. Now there are other ways to include this as well. Uh, in this, in, when you get really advanced into making mod packs, of course you can write scripts that actually remove the recipe and the JEI uh, entries as well. Now, another tip in this mode is if you want to include other items of that type, you hold down control and it will select all of that type. So as you can see, it selected all of the potions in one click. Instead of individually clicking all of them, I just hold down control and that will highlight all of them. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and also click that subscribe button so you guys can see more tutorial videos just like this. If you really enjoyed this, of course, I'll see you in the next one. So guys, as always, thanks for watching.